Santa Casino Quest. Santa Casino Quest back in action, and today I want to react to a video I saw that was actually sent to me. I don't really watch these guys like that, but this video was sent to me <coughs> by a mutual individual. I'm not going to mention any fucking names. I'm not going to try to start shit. I'm not going to start drama or whatever the fuck. But this video was sent to me by somebody. Let me not say anything. Anyways. I'm fucking drunk. I'm going to upload this video. I don't give a fuck. Uh, main IG account has been deactivated for some time. And so I sort some things out. You understand what I'm saying, ladies and gents? And it seems like every fucking time I log in, doesn't matter if I'm at the casino or dealing with business ventures and shit like that, every fucking time I log in, I, I see all this Virgo hatred, all this Virgo hate. All this hate about Virgos this, Virgos that. A Virgo fucked my life up. A Virgo uh, 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 did this to me. A Virgo is, is, is an asshole. A Virgo cut me through traffic. A Virgo fucked me up. A Virgo stole money from me. Blah, blah, blah. Like, yo, shut the fuck up already. Shut the fuck up. Seriously. Now let's see what this stupid bitch has to say about this. It's like, it's I hate like... Virgos. For for the love of God, if you're a guy in a Virgo, I would never talk to you. That's, that's like, why you're a Virgo. That's I, I, I have trauma behind that. That's yeah, why no you. That's... Stop the fucking cap. Stop. Fuck yo. What did yo my fucking god yo like? <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck? This shit is funny. Yo, this shit is funny. Why are you fucking lying? Why are you fucking lying for? Yo. <laughs> Yo, what is it with these fucking Florida bitches? Like, what is it with these bitches from like the South? Shit is crazy. Like, these bitches are just fucking compulsive, lying ass, deceiving fucking bitches. I mean, New York City bitches are also fucking lying and deceiving. As a matter of fact, uh, you know what? That's not a bad video. Huh. Interesting. First and foremost, if you know anything about astrology, and I'm not even going to get I'll probably will get in depth into this video in terms of the astrological natal chart and shit of that nature. If you know anything about astrology, then you should know that the sun sign is basically the ego, the expression. You understand what I'm saying? The ego, the expression, the life force of your zodiac sign. The ascendant is the first thing that everybody sees is basically, you know, the mass that you present to the fucking world. And the moon is who you really are. So you could be a sun and Virgo. You could be moon and Scorpio. You're a fucking Scorpio. You're not even a fucking Virgo. You know what I'm saying? Your ego, your life force has to do is more like Mercurian because it's, it's Virgo. But your, if your moon sign is in Scorpio, uh, you're more of a Scorpion. You know what I'm saying? Especially got fucking Pluto, Venus, conjunct, uh, moon and Scorpio and shit like that. All these uh, fucking Scorpio energies. Because the moon is a fucking spirit. The moon is a soul. The soul is immortal. The soul travels on. You know what I'm saying? You can get to the occult and the esoteric. And she knows this, by the way. So I don't know why the fuck she, she's putting up an act on this uh, TV show. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know why she's putting up an act. So here's the thing. Your projection of the life force has to do with the ego. All right. That is not your. That's basically your sun sign. That is not who you are. A lot of you motherfuckers and stupid ass bitches are reading newspapers and horoscopes and uh, you, you're, you guys are like, oh, oh no, it's Virgo. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, I need to run. Like, oh my god, it's a fucking Virgo. I need to, I need to, I need to run and hide. It's a fucking Pisces. This bitch is retarded and crazy. No, 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 no. Here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. All right. If we want to talk about astrological shit, you know what I'm saying? First and foremost, Virgos is the smartest zodiac sign. That's why Mercury is exalted in Virgo. Mercury is exalted in Virgo because Virgo, all right, Virgo is the smartest zodiac sign of them all. Gemini's is more about ideals. This bitch is a Gemini, by the way. Gemini's is more about ideals, talking shit, running their mouths, socializing, blah, 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 yada, 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 la, la, la. You understand what I'm saying? You have sun in the third house, you're going to come off as a Gemini because the house placement, you know what I'm saying? Every house is divided by fucking 30 degrees. 12 houses, 12 zodiac signs. You understand what I'm saying? 30, 60, 90, do the fucking math. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to get into this shit. I'm really not going to get into this shit. I'm just giving you like a brief understanding of the esoterics and the occult astrological uh, nature of the zodiac signs because it seems like every fucking day somebody's sending me some shit and somebody's talking shit about Virgos and y'all really need to shut the fuck up you understand what I'm saying so anyways where was I fuck I lost my train of thought yeah so if a bitch has son in the third house she's basically gonna be a lying deceptive uh conniving bitch if a, basically a Gemini you know what I'm saying? Two-Face, Bipolar, all this other shit. Um, <coughs> yeah, so Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Virgos is ruled by Mercury. This is the most intelligent. God. Hermes is the most intelligent god of the Zodiac. It's the god of communications. You know what I'm saying? Also the god of sports. And Sun, Mercury, and Venus moves at very close speeds. This is why a lot of Pisces have... Venus in Aquarius or or uh, Mercury in Aries, all right? Because these are these are you know the sign that goes before it and the sign that goes after it. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of Virgos, they actually have Venus in Libra, or they're actually come off as more like Leos. You understand what I'm saying? Especially you know in the middle degrees and shit of that nature. And a lot of Virgos, I'm talking about the sun. A lot of Virgos, sun signs, have sun conjunct Mercury. Because sun and Mercury, sun and Mercury moves at very close speeds, just like Venus. And a lot of Virgos, this is why a lot of Virgo women are pretty. They're going to have sun conjunct Venus. Sun is going to give power, all right, to the planet that it conjuncts. So if you have Sun conjunct Mercury, if you have Sun conjunct Venus, if you have Sun conjunct Mercury, you're extraordinarily intelligent. You're a fast thinker. You're very reactive. You're very pioneering. You're very innovative. You know how to communicate. You know how to articulate. You know how to persuade. You know how to inform. You understand what I'm saying? You know how to do anything Mercurian style. You understand what I'm saying? If you have if you have Sun conjunct Venus, especially for a woman. You're going to be blessed with physical beauty. You're going to have a feminine beauty, feminine charm. You're going to be socially graceful. You're going to be a money magnet because Venus does rules money. And um, what else? What else am I fucking missing? And uh, yeah. So these are the fucking characteristics of the planets. You understand what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of fucking sacred geometry and triangulation when it comes to astrological delineation where we're talking about the fucking natal chart you know what i'm saying so you motherfuckers and you stupid ass bitches really need to shut the fuck up about virgos let's not forget that hermes rules sports so a lot of virgos are gonna have sun conjunct mercury's we're gonna be fast fast hitters all right fast thinkers fast talkers you know what i'm saying we're going to excel with sports and fitness because Mercury rules the sixth house. The sixth house in astrology has to do with health, everyday routines, and all this other shit. 
You know what I'm saying? If you have a problem with this bitch is a Gemini, first of all, and she's ruled by Mercury. So the way an astrological synergy works, two two signs that are ruled by the same planet equals a fucking most likely it's gonna equal a fucking square. That's tension. You understand what I'm saying? And every sign has a cousin planet. You're ruled by that uh, planet. You're considered cousins in terms of the astrological, you know, mythologies and, sh and esoteric uh, nature. So Gemini's are actually cousins of Virgos. Aries is actually cousins of Scorpios. And uh, Pisces is actually cousins of Sag, Sagittarius, because both ruled by Jupiter and shit of that nature. So you want to look into the actual astrological natal chart. And for that requires an accurate time of birth. Basically your birth certificate. It can be fucking guessing. You can do the solar uh, chart. Not the solar return chart. Just the solar chart. Which you put at 12 p.m. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know the time of birth. But even then. Um, I mean you'll get an idea. But you, you're going to want to know the house placements. The slow moving planets. Are probably going to be more accurate because they're just slow moving. You know, Saturn, Uranus, Pluto, um, Neptune. Am I missing another one? Jupiter. You understand what I'm saying? Jupiter don't really move that slow in my opinion. <coughs> Mostly Neptune, Pluto, and Saturn. Alright, so, and Uranus. So... Stop talking shit about Virgos. Without Virgos, you like the entire fucking zodiac sign would have survived without Virgos. You know what I'm saying? Because again, like I said, Sun, Mercury, Venus moves at very close speed. So a lot of Virgos are gonna have Sun conjunct Mercury. If you have Sun conjunct Mercury, this is gonna give you an extraordinarily intelligent personality, very strong personality as well. Because the Sun is gonna shine bright through its intellectual, uh, communicative abilities. You understand what I'm saying? It's gonna get dignity. It's going to be dignified by that sun, that rays of sun. It's going to, boom, light up. That's what the sun likes to do. It likes to fucking light up whatever fucking planet it aspects or it touches. You understand what I'm saying? If it lights that up, then those energies are going to be very pronounced. And individuals with sun conjunct Mercury are, are going to have a natural propensity and inclination into acquiring knowledge, communicating knowledge, applying that knowledge. This is why Virgo is more powerful than Gemini. This is why... A sun in Virgo. This is why Mercury in Virgo is exalted because it's about practicality. All right, we put the intelligence to fucking use in a practical, sometimes unconventional, and sometimes even conventional manner. All right, Virgo is a very social. Out of all the fucking Earth signs, Virgo is like basically the most, you know, Earth sign that acts like an air sign. You understand what I'm saying? Mercury in Gemini is a rulership. But again, Mercury, Gemini is about ideals. Gemini is about the, the, the ideas, it's about so, uh, talking, socializing, all this other shit. What are we going to do? Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. When it comes to applying those actions and putting it into practical uses, this is where they fail. This is why Virgo's, uh, Mercury and Virgo is exalted because, again, like I said, I'm not fucking bragging. All right? I'm not fucking bragging. Cause I just I just recently had a terrible experience with a Pisces bitch. You guys don't see me fucking talking shit about all Pisces bitches. So I'm just saying. Listen, Sun, Mercury, Venus, all right, moves at very close fucking speeds. So you can look that up. What the Sun conjunct Mercury means, all right? It's a very in intellectual, intelligent. Uh, actually, most intelligent, in my opinion. It's basically gonna act like a depending on house placements and rulerships and shit of that nature and aspects in the astrological nature chart, but it's basically going to act like a Mercury in Virgo. You understand what I'm saying? So, Mercury in Virgo is an exaltation strongest position for any fucking planet or sign to be in. All right, so it's like Mars and Capricorn is an exaltation strongest position for Mars to be in. The reason why Virgo is more powerful than Gemini, is, like I mentioned before, is because Virgo, we put the fucking energies, we put the thoughts and ideas into practical uses. We mat we materialize it. Earth is about taking the energies, molding it, and materializing it into 3D, three-dimensional physical form. You understand what I'm saying? This is why the planet Saturn, Lord of Karma, the Black Sabbath, ruled by Saturn Day, Saturn's Day, Satan, 
You understand what I'm saying? Rules, infrastructures, and authorities, and shit of that nature. You understand what I'm saying? So, when you have an Earth sign in a... Because Mercury... And remember, the element air, Aquarius, Geminis, Libras, the air signs, they're all about intell intellect and communications and shit of that nature. So when you put the fucking planet of communication and intelligence into a sign that's about Earth, that's about materializing that intellect in, in, intellectual uh, capacities, it's going to be an ex exalted, an, ex an exaltation. And like I said, a lot of Virgos are going to have Sun conjunct Mercury because Sun, Mercury, Venus moves at very close speeds. It is what it is. You can hate, you can hate it, you can love it. I don't really give a fuck. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So, I really don't give a fuck. I'm not here to fucking, I'm not here to get subscribers. I'm not here to be a little social media influencer. You know, there's other bullshit. I'm here to fucking put, you know, put light into, into the madness. This is still a fucking casino channel. You know what I'm saying? We wilding out. We're still traveling. We're still gambling. We're still <laughs> kicking ass. Winning money. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just getting sick and fucking tired of all these degenerates, you know what I'm saying? Talking shit about talking shit about Virgos. And shit of that nature. Like seriously, if you don't know what you're talking about, shut the fuck up. This is the most stupidest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. Dead ass. Not even fucking joking. If you don't if if you have a negative experience with one zodiac sign, You know what? Maybe that zodiac sign is not for you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's not for you. But don't fucking say... 7 billion people in the world. Don't fucking say that the entire... Everybody on that zodiac sign... Is this and that. You gotta look at the... Astrological, sinister, and composite shit... Into account. You understand what I'm saying? You feel me? So... What the fuck I was gonna say? I'm gonna close this video out. I just forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. Um, yeah, so if you have a bad relationship with a Virgo, you know, we get, we get a lot of hate. Virgos get a lot of fucking hate, but it's because a lot of people are just fucking stupid. A lot of people do stupid shit. A lot of people, uh, they do stupid shit and they think we're supposed to just sit there and take it. Nah. Here's, here's another thing that I want to explain to a lot of people. A lot of Virgos are going to have Venus and Scorpios. Because again, it's a sextile. You have Venus and Scorpio, that's going to be a sextile. You understand what I'm saying? Even if you have Moon and Scorpio, it's a sextile. Alright, so Sun, Venus, Mercury are going to move at close speeds. A lot of Virgos are also going to have Mercury and Leo. Or Mercury and Libra. You understand what I'm saying? So... I mean, these are <clears throat> these are unapologetic uh, planetary signs, especially Scorpio energies. If you're dealing with a fucking Virgo with a lot of strong Scorpio energies, and you did some stupid shit, and that person burned you, like who, whose fault is it? If you know how that person is, then whose fucking fault is it? I mean, come on now, you know what I'm saying? The, the level of ignorance that I've fucking perceived <laughs> is out of this fucking world. Is is seriously out of this fucking world. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not gonna blow her fucking spot, but don't fucking talk shit. Don't talk shit about Virgos. You know what I'm saying? And stop fucking capping, cause I got receipts.